Well, hello everybody, this is City Timelines, and I'm Dean Webb, and I need to eat my hat uh, just a little bit in this episode. I know I said previously that I didn't think the DLC was going to be that big of a deal. Apparently for some people, it was, and I gotta apologize. But I also gotta show how we could use this opportunity to get a fresh start with all of our mods and assets. The key is getting the mod compatibility report. You install it, and once installed, it's able to generate a list of all the mods you have that are not compatible, ones that have issues, and ones that are just fine. Now, in this, let me be crystal clear. I have to go to this part of that page that says, take care to manually download a new catalog with the download now button. Okay, I saw that, and then I went into my game, and I saw this area here that said downloaded on 11 September 2022. That was before the new content dropped. So I had to hit download now. And when I did, my game froze. I exited the game, came back in, hit download now again, and it was still broken. So I knew I had some kind of corruption, some kind of problem. I checked the comments on that page and it said, hey, get rid of it and try it again. So I left the game, I unsubbed from the mod, I went to this directory, and it's in your Steam, Steam Apps Workshop Content 255710, and then this number here, you, you can find it because it's the last bunch of numbers here in the URL of the web page. Ooh, that's off the screen there. Let me move it down into the screen here so you can see it better. There we are these last numbers here that's the one you want and you go to that directory and go back there I just deleted everything that was there and once that was gone I resubscribed to the mod and then I was able to download the new list just fine and the first thing I saw on that list was advanced stop selection was a broken mod let's take a look at that list and see some more so this is the first compatibility report I ran with the new version here. It said I had 67 mods and I had five mods could or should be unsubscribed. I took this as must be unsubscribed. First one, as we saw, was advanced stop selection and I was heartbroken because I love this mod. It helps me, but it says unsubscribe. So I did. I went to this page and I hit unsubscribe and I scroll down into the comments because that usually helps and it says go to this page here and that was this one for advanced stop selection revisited hooray and this one is compatible hooray so yeah I had a broken mod but I had one that replaced it it's just fine okay what else is broken here let's go back to the compatibility report it said extra landscaping tools oh no i love this mod i use it all the time i just like the other one and then it said it's already succeeded by this other mod extra landscaping tools fix so the mod compatibility report this time told me what was broken and told me what to do to fix it so i unsubscribe from extra landscaping tools which was f4 compatible and i got the one that is F5 compatible, the one with the fix. So I have now removed two mods and I've added two mods. I've broken even. I've just gotten an update on things here. Well, let's see what else is in this compatibility report. <laughs> oh, oh, fill the houses. The mod is broken, seems to be abandoned, and the author is retired future updates are unlikely. No public source code found making it hard to continue by another modder. He didn't have a GitHub repository. Well, I'm sorry, but if it's not compatible, no matter how much I like it, it's gotta go. It was last touched in 2016. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Nope, fill the houses is out. Next one, Hide it, Bobby. Unsubscribe, this mod is broken. And go instead to hide it. 
Okay, so I unsubscribe from Hide It Bobby. I like the mod, but I got to go instead with Hide It. And, you know, it's just easy enough. I just click unsubscribe on one and then subscribe on the other. When you're subscribing and unsubscribing, usually it's best to unsubscribe from the one that has a conflict, then subscribe to the one that will do what you want it to do. So since these have similar functions, unsubscribe from Hide It Bobby, then subscribe to Hide It. It may not always make a difference, but I like to play it safe. Okay, watch it. Oh no, it's broken with the free game update. An alternative I could use is stats. It doesn't say it's an exact copy of it, but I unsubscribe from Watch It. There it is, unsubscribed. And here it is, stats. I'm not thrilled with the user interface and stats. I don't know if I'll keep it. I like having information in front of me, but I like it readable. And Watch It, well, it had that transparency on the side that this doesn't have. I'll deal with that later. That's a separate episode. But it, it said I could use it, and I thank them for that, and I'm glad that it's there. Okay, now I have 18 mods with minor issues. Advanced vehicle options. I'm not concerned about color variations. I'm okay there. Barges. It says barges might not spawn. Okay, this is good to know. If they don't spawn, I can delete the path and then recreate it. That usually helps. Okay, and this has to be done on every load. Oh, no. Well, I hope not. We'll check. We'll check. There's some other issues here. I'll see if that if I have that problem in my save game. Next, date changer. Uh, they don't know if it's going to work well or not, and it does have issues with enhanced outside connections view. Yeah, well, I'm not really having problems with that, so I think I'm okay, even though it is abandoned. I understand that it may go by the wayside and I'll have to get a new mod. I, I, I fully get it. But, you know, I keep going through here. Now, oh, here's one. Fine Road Anarchy and Fine Road Tool and also Key Anarchy. They're all saying these are succeeded by a new mod. Well, let's take a look here. Fine Road Anarchy. This was made by Clyde and, you know, last updated August 19th. That's good news, right? Yes and no. That's before the game update released. And now we take all three of those and we have Network Anarchy Beta, which does all of that and more. And it's maintained by Cuboid, who is very active, and I'm glad for that. So I'm actually reducing the number of mods I have and replacing them with newer mods thanks to the compatibility report. So I could read through all the others, uh, just to note that No Fires does have an issue. Prop Anarchy, you need to take that out and use Prop Anarchy Temporary Fix. Got that one gone. Go and get this one, Temporary Fix. Same icon, so you know it's the same crew that's doing it. Then I went through some others and I realized I don't really need mesh info anymore. This information is in the new loading screen mod. Let me just get rid of ones that I don't need. Especially ones that are, well, again, last updated in 2016, and we'll move on with our life. Okay, so I got rid of all those old mods, and I got into some new ones, and I ran the report again. And this time, I've got 63 mods, four fewer than before, and only the minor issues. I think I had 18 with minor issues, now I'm down to 14. This is great. So... I did a little bit of work, and I had to load the game a few times, and yes, there was some troubleshooting, but I was able to get brand new mods, fresh mods, and that gives me a fresh start. So let's see if the game loads okay, and how that works with everything. Let's, let's give it a go here. I'm going to do that right now. Okay, there we are. No error message at the start of the game. That's very important. <laughs> I'd been getting those with the old mods, and now I'm not getting it. This is great. So I'm going to load a game, and we will use this one here because I've got barges in it, and we wanted to check them. And once it loads with the magic of television, you'll be able to see everything. 
And ta-da! There we are. Let's get the game going here. And check out the barges. Now, if I have fires, that's another thing to watch out for. Don't think I've got any fire problems. Let's check to see if the barges are spawning. This looks like a good place. Well, they're definitely docking and they're dropping off goods. Okay. What about over here? Dropping off. Oh, he just scooted past. All right. Let's see if we can find where they're forming. They should come out pretty soon, I would think. We've got them lined up there. That one disappeared, so it despawned. That's a good sign. We spun around. Let's see here. Zoom out. Oh, yeah, that one just came up. I'm pretty sure. And that one came up too. Yeah. All right. Looks like we're good with the barges. They are they are spawning. They are coming in. They're using everything. So, I don't have the problems that other people may have reported. It could be a compatibility issue if you yourself are having problems with barges. But they seem to be doing well for me. The only problems I have are the ones that I last saved the game with. I know I have a worker shortage. I'm good with that. Uh, the transfer of goods is seeming like it's going fine. I don't have these areas directly connected, so they have to use the barge. That's fine. I'm, I'm very happy with all this. My game is ru running. I don't have any error messages. I didn't have to click through anything. We are all good to go. So, thank you to the new DLC and the new free update. You got me to go through my mods and clean them up and get them nice and spiffy new. And because of that, I'm going to enjoy my game of City Skylines all the much more. For City's Timelines, I'm Dean Webb, and I hope you have a good, fresh start for all of your mods. And remember, don't throw away any old save game files. Get them to work. Get the new mods and enjoy. Have a great day. We'll see you later. Bye for now.